Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. So I, I did some thinking, and since I'm just not seeing anything else that I care about, <clears throat> and like the only other one that I feel kind of reasonable uh, might be good is uh, Lightning Rod, but I don't know that I'll be getting up to Arrow Thurge 5. Um... Now, I'm not sure if we're going to get another one. I think we'll get another one at 20, but I'm not positive. <clears throat> I think that what we do want is... Where is it? Glass cannon. So, total vitality is decreased by 50%. Eh. But four extra recovery action points... Um, let's see. is recovery action points, actually. So we start with nine. Turn action points are eight. I, th I don't know. I mean, I just, like, like it, it feels like I, I should get more action points uh, in a fight, so... That's going to drop her down to uh, 344 hit points. Oh, well, that's fine. I have a save point here if I feel that that is uh, not great. Actually, get back onto you. And... The end of time. <clears throat> I'm not seeing anything new. Oh god, get away from me. Good to see you on the shelter plane. A home away from her. Alright, not saying anything. Um no, we've been there. No, I don't know. I uh, do not know. But, you know what? As long as I'm over here... I was thinking about uh, buying these secrets eventually anyway. Why don't we do so now? Let's see what we get out of these. Oh, got another party animal. Did search through all of this stuff. I give not you for lost. From this descent, celestial virtues rising will appear more glorious and more dread than from no fall. All right. Well, let's see. How much are we looking at? All right, 45 thou. It'll leave us with 20 thou, eh, which is really not that bad. And I could always sell a lot of these things that I have. But on the other hand, I mean, I can actually sell these back to her when we're done, now that I think about it. She also has a lot of money. Let's just sell most of this stuff. Go ahead and hold on to that one. I don't care about immunity to petrified. 
I don't think I care about these. items though let's see so offset it by uh, 17k sure there we go all right I'll take my leave and let's see secret of the stars my map is slowly filling up with secrets my map is slowly filling up. My map is slowly. My map is slowly. My map is slowly. My map is slowly filling up with secrets. My map is slowly filling up. My map is slowly. My map is slowly. My map is slowly. My map is slowly. My map. I hope you like that audio because we're getting it a lot. Slowly filling. My map is slowly filling up with secrets. My map is slowly filling up with. My map is slowly filling up. My map is slowly filling up. My map is slowly filling. My map is slowly filling up with secrets. My map is slowly filling up with seek. My map is slowly filling up with seek. Ah, uh, I've already read this. Okay. Ah, uh, I've already read this. All right, there we go. So, a uh, secrets. I don't know if we get these uh, like uh, crossed out if we. This rare skill book is said to sweep the dead from Rivalon and straight into the Hall of Echoes. Alright, well. Alright, I can't, I can't go to another map, can I? Nope. Alright, so we'll have to teleport around and see where those are, which is not too hard, actually. Uh, before I do that... hold on to the tenebrium stuff for the moment. Probably gonna get overloaded. Not overloaded yet, though. All right, there we go. <laughs> About time. Let's see, don't care about uh, that helmet. Don't care about that armor. Don't care about the shields. I'm gonna hold on to that for the moment. She's got a lot of money on her. <clears throat> I can grab uh, some of this stuff back. Some of that money back that I did spend. Uh, let's see. Okay, wand-wise, I have that air wand. I'm using an earth wand at the moment. That is better than these, so... Do they do anything else? They do not do anything else. Okay, I got one fire wand. Water. Plus one leadership. 
might be good to keep around. Go ahead and hold on to it. And I'll keep the rest of that stuff. There we go. Alright. I give not you for lost. From this descent, celestial virtues rising will appear more glorious and more dread than from no fall. Thanks for buying these back from me. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. Sell those. We got 37, so we got plenty of money to get out of her. That's about it. <clears throat> okay, 25 thou. Sure. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Goodbye. I'll take my leave. All right. So let's go back to uh, Sysiel. Go to uh, Northgate, just because that's easiest. Mark those directly as Jerome's treasure map six. I'm pretty sure we've done that one. I do wish it would note the legend of the lighthouse. Some say a paranoid old lighthouse keeper hid away his most effective defense mechanism in case of emergency. much of that one will actually... Like, that feels like something that we already got. I hate, kind of hate how uh, hard it is to see some of these. Pretty sure we did all of Jerome's treasure maps. So those are pretty certainly done. These can actually be pretty difficult to see on the map. I'm pretty sure we did Legend of the Lighthouse, so. Go to Hyberheim, see if there's anything there. I don't know if they work here. Snow and ice. In this land of winter, ice magic was perfected many eons ago. How do we get back there? Get in there. I think that is... Frozen chest. Well, let's, uh... Let's go check this out. I think it's that one. Yeah, this is part of the problem with some of these, uh, um, some of these secrets. They're brain. not really all that secret, you know? Oh, actually. No, maybe they, uh, maybe they only appear. Maybe I, or maybe I missed it. I don't know. I 
my luck had run out. 148 gold. We got a cloak and dagger skill book. A couple other items that are pretty rare. Alright, we're probably not going to be attacking too many things, so let's go ahead and do that. And that. Alright, lockpicking, bodybuilding, and dual wielding. It's only a level 11. <clears throat> that would be good for... Woolgraph, perhaps. Um, it's not a good uh, air wand. Again, it's only a level 11. Go ahead and hold on to that. You're overloaded because I took off a... Yeah, strength amulet. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and... and uh, eat something that we haven't eaten before. Pizza! There we go. Get one to uh, Almondrata there. There we go. We're below the uh, weight limit now. Pizza time! Om nom 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 nom. Alright, so constitution plus one speed minus one and 10% healing. Does this lead to where... I think it does. It does, okay. Any all can get through. <laughs> oh boy! But no, this does look like the uh, the chest that we've already gotten. Because there does not appear to be anything else. Yeah. All right. Okay, so that's that one. Uh. Have any others? The Iron Maiden. So that's going to be one of the secrets of the stars. The Iron Maiden. A common Iron Maiden became enchanted when she received a dark blessing from a Mad King. Yeah, alright. So we've done that one. We've gotten that one. Like, at this point, money is just uh, relatively easy to come by. Uh, there's plenty more that I can do to get money. So. The Treasures of the win Winter King. Winter King's Castle houses one of the largest treasure rooms in the Realm of Fairy. Yeah, we've done that. Although I suppose I could run down there just to see if it is, in fact... Like... Because I, I genuinely don't, don't know if I just missed that chest, or if it only appeared when I got that uh, secret. I'm inclined to say that I missed it. It is lower level. No, that's that one. No, I, th I think I think I have. Not worried about that. All right. 
Um, so Sly Seal we've looked at. I guess I could go to... Farms, I think it might be. We'll double check the lighthouse because that'll kind of that might indicate. Yeah, that's it. Like if you really like if you look specifically, and I'll I'll probably double check some of these just to make sure that they are what I think they are. See if I can find uh, information about them, but I, I I think like most of these, if you are, you know, careful and look at things and everything like that, I think you do tend to get all of them without those uh, secrets. Pablo's still here. It's good to know. Now, I think there was a skill book sitting, just kind of like sitting out here. It should be right around here. We've certainly looked in all of those. I have no idea what that is. I think that might be part of the enemy. Like, it kind of amuses me that these things still hang out here. Alright, yeah, I think we got that one. Whatever it is. Alright, now on to... Kula Forest. Um... Just go here for the moment. Figure out where others are. Cabin of the White Witch does not have an easy route over there. Troll King's cave entrance appears to be the closest, though. Come down here. Apple pie. No, it wasn't one of these. It was up here. Yeah, see, there's a chest here. I think we dug it up. Lonestra's Treasure Hint 2. Yep. Alright. What about in uh, the Lakula Mines? Since we have not actually been here. Back in here since that. We can't get to everywhere in here either. There are certain places. It doesn't seem like they would they would put some uh, some of these treasures in here where you can't get back to them and stuff. So, yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. So that's good. That would have been really, really kind of dickish to put some secrets in here and be soldier, like... Soldier, soldier, burning bright. Where will you go? What prepare to fast? There you go. That would be kind of dickish to like be like, Sorry, you should have come here first. Okay, what else do we have? 
buried treasure. say that when the White Witch heard her sister was coming for her, she buried a treasure just here. Alright. Uh, well, we should be able to get there with the uh, cabin of the White Witch. I feel like I might have gotten this one. What's this? Or not. Alright. Excellent. Chest. A fine stroke of luck. So I'm an air elemental scroll, send that over to Hanako, and these need level two, yeah. I they're they're old. <laughs> they're definitely old. <clears throat> Alright, uh yeah, level nine. Immunity to poison, level eight. So yeah, that's this is part of the problem with the uh, these treasures is, and just the leveling in general. Uh, I, I've certainly talked about it before, and I'm not a fan of it. Mendius's final stash. Yeah, it's, it's one of the things that I don't like about leveling equipment, because it's like, I find it silk. I find it really silk. It's a, it's a common trope in uh, some of these types of uh, RPGs. Ooh, a jelly rooms that I missed. Hold on. else in there? Oh, there. Like, I, I feel like, you know, again, one of the things that you should be able to do in such a situation is to, like, level them with you. If you can't level them with you, then I, I do feel like that's a... Um, that's a defect where, you know, like, you really should be able to keep the good things with you uh, as you get more powerful rather than be like, well, I do really like this one uh, thing, but the fact that uh, it's not doing much damage anymore... Mendius' stash. Okay. We got that. So that's done. A secluded secret. I feel like we have probably done that one. I do feel like we've done this one. Yep, I did get that one. All right. Uh, let's see what else. Going up there too much isn't gonna isn't worth it at the moment. I can delete that. So I don't need that anymore. There doesn't appear to be a secret there. Madame Lonestra's treasure hint 5. Is that... That feels like where the... Uh, mine entrance is. Alright, let's go check that one out and then I think that'll be it for the episode. 
Head back to the Troll King's uh, entrance. And this also feels like something that I probably would have already gotten. But honestly, this is one of the reasons to have lots of money. <laughs> Thanks for turning on their, uh, their waterfall. Like, if I have something that's giving me plus one strength, uh, I'm not going to really want to re replace it unless I find something that gives me plus two strength. Or something that's giving me plus one strength and uh, more, more damage kind of thing. So if I could, I could do the cold level them up so that I can be sure that they are going to do that, it would be really nice. But I don't think that it is possible to do that in this game. If it is, I've just completely missed it in both playthroughs. <laughs> Now, there is custom items that I could make. Um, you can make your own bows and stuff like that, and I think they are made at your level. But I'm also reluctant to do that because I'll have to replace it again soon anyway. When I hit, like, level 20 or 21, and we're not looking at m many more levels in the game, 20 is about where you're expected to get. You can get a bit higher. I think you might, like, if you... If you maximize all of your XP gains very carefully, which I have not done, uh, I think you can get to, like, 23 or so. But I'm not positive. Well, what's this I've spotted? Okay, I have not gotten this one. See what we get. Phew. I thought my luck had run out. All right, metal scrap. Send that to Medora. One hundred thirty-seven gold. Arbalest and a robe. All right. So that is level twelve. Uh, slightly more damage, and plus one leadership, but losing out on movement, and of course I've taken bow skill, not crossbow skill. And in a robe with 21% uh, 20 fire and air resistance. Eh. But yeah, like, uh, this is level 13, I'm level 16 now. If I could just, like, click on it and, and be, like, upgrade item for either money or have... Even if it was just, like, have the equivalent items of uh, leveling up, you know, like, like of making the item or something like that. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. But not require, like, crafting skill or something. I don't know. It would just make it a lot friendlier rather than... Because uh, you, you, you kind of don't want to count on, on these things. Like, I'm still using these boots, these level 5 boots. Bartering and plus one, plus one bartering, plus one lucky charm because I haven't found anything else that gives me plus one bartering and plus one lucky charm that Elmandretta can actually use. And so many of the items that you make do end up being getting random stuff. So you can get, like, I think the uh, um, best you can get is stuff like plus three strength and stuff like that, plus three to those skills, but it's random and I don't really want to, like, save scum it because it's boring. <laughs> You certainly can, but that's just not not what I care to do. So, yeah, I just I, I just I want to be able to like click and upgrade, click and upgrade, because like it's a pretty good helmet. Plus two point four sight, plus one perception, plus one initiative. It was pretty good. It's pretty good. It does require six strength, and that might upgrade too, but that would suck. Anyway. For now, we'll go ahead and uh, call this an episode. When we come back next time, we do still have some more uh, secrets to find. Uh, one bad thing about this game is that it doesn't have a great way of like checking them off and saying, I have gotten this one. Like there's no filter found or something like that, so... Ardino claims his prize in Lakula came from the stars themselves.
Under the altar of the old cathedral of Lakula lies a library that houses many secrets. So yeah, there, there's some, there's still some things here. Pirate's key, Black Cove's fiercest pirate seems to have dropped a key in this area. Yeah, so I should probably, there, there's still some more, like, interior uh, places that I have not been. Like, I did not actually go to Black Cove, I should probably do that. Anyway, that will all be for next time. See you then, everyone.